What's going on everybody? This is Sabro Fighting 4. I got some matches to show you guys with another new deck that I've made for Yu Yu Master Duel. It's going to be Sacred or Constellars as they're called in English. Definitely one of my favorite archetypes from the Zexel era. I mean, it's not very many archetypes that I like from that era. It's pretty much Constellars, Firefist, and Ghost Tricks that actually came out in Zexel. Uh, Zexel gave us support for other things like Dark World, I guess, and vampires and stuff. But when it comes to straight up new archetypes. So this deck, it's just very close to my heart. I really like it. Um, I have fond memories of buying a lot of booster boxes from Hidden Arsenal 7 and getting all the cards. It was the first set I completed in my life, like Yu Yu said. Good times. It was a hell of a money set back then. It's too bad I wasn't selling cards back then. Would have made a lot of money if I did. But um, yeah, cool cards. Obviously, this isn't a top meta deck, but it can be a bit okay if it works. We get the new Constellar Kodegius, Kodashius, however it's called. The new dude that lets you search. Basically, Constellar Star Chart is the only card you want to search. So this guy, he's doing some things. He got this rebellion-ass dragon that's going to give me a rough time. But thankfully, I do have the Kaiju Sea Turtle. Yes, I am running the Kaijus in this deck as well. It's just some decks can afford it than others. Um, I can't afford to run things like Kaijus and like D-Hero decks and other decks. But I mean, with Constellars, you kind of just need a few of your monsters, like two of your monsters to make your play. And then you can't really do much else. And uh, the combo that you can do with Constellars and the Kaijus is that you can get rid of an annoying monster with a kaiju and then if you use pleadies you can get the kaiju back in your hand so it's almost like you get rid of your opponent's monster and you get your uh, counter card back so that's the reason why i'm running a few kaijus in this deck too but i mean it's just it's just two to be honest i think at least i think it might be like two or three anyway if you guys want me to show you the deck profile i will uh, same for relinquished Okay, so we're going to summon the whatever this dude name is, but he's good. He special summon himself. It lets you get the star chart, so you can get a bit of plus in with Constellars, which is something that you need. You don't really get too much plus in, in this deck unless you use Sheraton and the... Uh, damn, I like the card from uh, Lord of the Attack Young Galaxy. I forget its name right now. But anyway... Gonna summon Sheraton, gonna summon uh, Kodashius, whatever the name is, and set the Call of the Haunted, get as much card advantage as I can since we can't do much else for this turn. My opponent basically played the Kaiju spell, the field spell, uh, played the Kaiju Dark Hole, and is gonna give me a Kaiju and summon his own Kaiju. It's going to be pretty frustrating that Kaiju Field Spell is very annoying because once it gets played, it gets a few counters. You basically can't get rid of it. Um, you just need to get rid of one counter for it to just survive. So even if I do like Duster, I'm not going to pop it. But the great thing about that card sticking around is that we can actually take advantage of our own Kaijus and actually use their secondary effects. Like Sea Turtle is pretty good because it can negate stuff. So I'm just going to summon it. I've got the two Constellar Star Charts. Dead card if you see it like this. But I mean, you you got to run two copies. Three is too much. One is too few. But at least two. Just so that you can have something good to search with. Uh, Constellar Kodakias. Wh whatever the fuck his name is. I can never pronounce him. But you guys know the card I'm talking about. Like the newest Constellar card. This dude. That I'm special summoning right now. And I'm just going to play both of them. Now that I can make a play it's gonna be perfect so summon our sea turtle and I'm actually gonna go for the Pricep to kill this dude by battle because it's pointless to use Pleiades and just let him get it back in the hand uh, so this guy gonna draw two cards uh, star chart is only once per turn unlike the cheating ass well utopia uh, continuous spell card where you just draw a card every time you get a utopia XYZ out but it should be pretty good if it sticks around it's more card advantage for you every time you get a constellar 
X, Y, Z out. So, like I mentioned, now that we can actually utilize Kaiju counters with his his cards, basically, I can actually negate his shit with the C turtle. Maybe he was hoping I wasn't gonna do that. I wasn't gonna be aware of that, but I am. So I negated his shit and just pop the big moth there. So pretty good. Now we're gonna get out the Ptolemy M7, which is perfect. You gotta run this card, if only to get more plus in like this with Star Chart. It means that if you run the rank three Constellar, like the 1900 dude, um, you can just instantly summon this guy, and if everything else fails, it's 2700 uh, beater. And then if he survives, you can take advantage of his effect too. So here goes. We're going to go for it. Hyadis, Hyadis, whatever his name is. Show me your monster face up defense position. It's that Gretel dude, like I thought. Uh, attacked with. Uh, Ptolemyum 7, just in case I wasn't going to be able to negate his effect. So, because I know he's going to steal Ptolemyum 7, but we negated his effect handily with the Kaiju Sea Turtle. And now I can just poke for some more damage. Close to beating this dude. I think I got perfect control of the game. Definitely have more card advantage. I've got Constellar Sombre, that's the name is. Uh, that's its name or her name. So, that that's great. That's the other card that gives you a major plus when it gets summoned from Lord of Tack Young Galaxy. It's this, Sheraton, and uh, like this dude that I just drew, Kiadis. That's it. You're not going to get card advantage through other ways in Constellars. There's a level 5 dude as well, like the 2100 monster. That's level 5. It gives you a card every time it gets summoned, even special summon, but it's just difficult to incorporate in your Constellar deck. You kind of have to make a deck based around him, and it can be clunky, it can brick, since you're running level 5 and not monstrous. So just running it like this, running Sheraton, I think is the best way. Okay, so this dude, gonna warning my uh, Pollux right from the bat. Okay, that's fine. And gonna attack me with the Tri Brigade, dude. So it's fucking Tri Brigade. I hate this archetype so much. <sighs> There's a lot of archetypes that I hate, but this one is definitely up there. I hate. What I hate the most about this deck, I hate a lot of things about it. Well, pretty much everything. Uh, but the, the card that I hate the most is that freaking trap card. Which, why they printed that card and they thought it was okay, I'll never know. I will never know why they thought, let's print a Return from a Different Dimension trap card for Tri Brigades. They're always going to chain it. We're just going to, since you can just summon the dudes and go to uh, Link instantly. So when they set it, even if you MST, they're always going to get the effect. But if you don't MST it, then they're just going to chain it when you summon a monster so they can banish a dude with the Tri Brigade guy. That's 3k. So it's always a bitch. And it's a cheating-ass card. You summon the monsters, and when they just die again, they float. So it's just how much card advantage plus are you going to get? Shit. And it's searchable easily. So anyway, we're putting in some work here. Uh, he's going to use Duster. Thankfully, I did have my Starlight Road, another card that I'm using in this deck because we're running a lot of back row with Constellars. So, excellent. Was going to get Stardust, but he decided to surrender. Yeah, good riddance. I don't care, dude. I don't care. If you're using cheating as cards and you still can't win, yeah, you deserve whatever you do. Anyway. And let's see. This guy is going to start with Terraforming, and it's going to be the damn... Invoked Edelung. More cards that I hate, but these guys, I specifically just hate the Invocation. I think they just gave it too many broken effects. If that was just a fair fusion card, like that's a fusion polymerization card basically. If it didn't have all the effects it has, then Invoked would have been okay. Some people are still going to say, oh, it's an okay deck, it's not even top tier, whatever. I think it's just a top tier deck, a top top tier cards you can use. Easily splashable, you can just throw in the engine easily in any deck. 
and they just the field spell searches the summoner the summoner searches the fusion card and you can just fusion summon for free basically and you get all the cards back what more do you want um yeah so he's using them with the dogmatica cards which is not uncommon uh, Dogmatica, Eidolon, and then the Shadows thrown in as well, some of the Shadows. So, he got rid of some of my extra deck cards with the big dude there, but I mean, it's fine. He didn't hit anything important. Um, I have everything, I think, in hand to deal with him. We're going to get rid of uh, Makeba because he was going to negate my shit. Let's pop a back row with the MST. He's going to chain it, okay. But the important thing of my play was to just get rid of the dude that negates stuff, as usual. And then it makes my sorts of Concealing Light live. So it's going to work out perfectly. My economy, uh, <laughs> Dark Blue No More, it's actually going to put in some work here. Putting everybody face down. We're going to summon the dude that's going to give us the star chart. And this guy surrendered very, very early. I mean, I was going to kill some of his monsters and then go to an XYZ Constellar, but I think he scooped too early. But anyways, we'll take the victory if you're just going to give up so easily. Once again, somebody that just can't believe it when things go wrong. It's just these guys entitled to winning. I don't know what else. Like, I'm not even using a top meta deck and you're just going to give up so easily. Why would you give up so easily against Constellars? It just shows me the type of person you are. But anyway. Uh, this guy, I think this is the last game. He's going to summon Baron to flirt. He's using the Sword Soul cards. <laughs> More cheating as cards that just float for days. Search for days. Summon monsters that negate all your shit for days. And they don't lose much, if anything. They're just getting, the, they're trying to get more creative. Konami with the cards they print because they're basically just printing the same old cards all the time now Every deck just searches cards and then just summon cards that just negate shit and pop shit. That's it So this time with this archetype they're doing it with tokens and I think they did this with another archetype too You're just gonna summon tokens that you can just uh, Synchro with and shit But anyway, I uh, got rid of his Baron de Flirt of course with a Kaiju and now we're going to go for a plea display. I think it's the only thing I can do. Um, basically. So here comes Pleades. Activate the effect. I'm actually going to put his uh, Synchro in the extra deck back. I wish there was a way for me to just get rid of the Synchro so I can just grab my Kaiju back. But there was no optimal way of doing it. And set our back row. Hopefully the Quakey Mirror Force puts in some work. Very glad I acquired it. It's one of the better Mirror Force cards, I would say. I think it's better than the Stormy one, too. Uh, but that's up for debate. Gonna negate a shit with Magic Drain. It worked, thank God. It's gonna summon this guy and get some more free plus in, of course. Get your token. I'm actually just going to use Pleiades immediately. I don't want him to go in any extra deck of cards. And it actually worked. I stunned him. Couldn't make any other play. Okay, we're going to summon Sheraton. And this is why you run Sheraton. You summon this dude. It gives you the plus. Uh, then this guy is going to give me the plus. And even if you can't go for an XYZ, you're generating card advantage. So I'm going to summon Pleiades right now. Not going to put his monster back in hand. Uh, and this leaves me with a material on Ptolemy M7. And just kill his dudes. Hopefully this works. I don't think I had game no matter what I did. Even if I used Raigeki or Pleiades. So yeah, just not get hasty. Get ahead of ourselves. Go for the card advantage play. Because I'm going to need it against this deck. I mean, he, he did so much and he still has all these cards in hand. It's, it's insane. So, get rid of the star chart, and I'm actually going to take this opportunity to use Quakey Mirror Force, even if it's just one card. I don't want to give him any edge at all. I think that guy just gets an effect too, if it inflicts battle damage. So, just go ahead and do that. In the end, he popped my cards with that trap card. Sheridan survived. 
So I can make a play still, and we get the best card I possibly could have grabbed at this point. The Caudacious or Caudius, whatever the name is. Special summon the dude for free. Summon uh, Chaos, get the star chart, and we can get more advantage. I think I'm actually going to go for game here. I don't even need to go to Pletus and stuff. If I just go to Pricep, I have enough damage on the board to get game. So perfect. It's going to be a GG. Again, Sword Soul. What would you know? We did it with Constellers. So it's possible. It just won't be common. So hope you guys enjoyed these matches. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Wadaee!